step back, knocks down the three, can get to the bucket. And, oh, yes, he's got what we call the floater or the teardrop over the big man. All right, Michael, we got a problem here before tip. We got nothing but white jerseys out there, a little miscommunication as Oklahoma City is in white unis. The Memphis Grizzlies in some white unis. Now, we all – we had a, an issue – with the jerseys last year, remember, between the Thunder and the Atlanta Hawks. And it was the Hawks who had to switch at halftime. But I've never seen anything like this, where both teams had no idea that the other was going to wear white, and they didn't realize it until they met at half court <laughs> ready to tip it off. And that says it all right there. <laughs> you got to love it. I mean, it, this does happen, folks. And it did happen in the Atlanta game, as both teams will go to their respective huddles, and it we will postpone the start until Memphis can get the right jerseys on. All right, so now we know who the culprit is. <laughs> Got to get the right jerseys on. Go back to the dressing room. <laughs> That's a new one. That's why you always stick around this game because something happens, folks. <laughs> and obviously, you know, the Grizzlies will have to go in the back and change their jerseys to a darker color as everyone is kind of this is what happened look at Teo Maladon he's as stunned as anybody in the arena he realized <laughs> it right away <laughs> he says that that's not gonna work that's actually pretty good that's that, that's that's pretty sharp as you see the team equipment guys getting together taking a look and saying okay well who who has the white jerseys tonight and we just confirmed moments ago via the official word now, we we've got to give our guy wilson taylor some credit because the thunder had it right and if you heard the officials say that memphis is the team that has to go change so i think that memphis is the the squad that kind of got the assignment wrong and here here come the grids so what do you get a chance to have more popcorn get to your seats and sit down and, for, and get right. prepared. For those late to the game, yes. this is exactly what you wanted. That's right. All right. Everybody should be in their seats and ready to stand up because Thunder fans always do a great job of standing up until the team makes the first bucket of the game. Now, how, about, how about Tail coming out, too? This is his first start of the season. He didn't miss a beat. Well, he caught that. And you see the young, talented player in Ja Moran. You talked about him. He generates the most points on drives to the bucket at almost 16 a game. Certainly in the MVP conversation as he has his Memphis Grizzlies team with the second best record in the association and currently second place in the West behind the Phoenix Suns as we are ready for tip-off. Slight delay, but basketball to be played. Five minutes.